Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? We are in Kentucky at Stober, and I just kind of want to say I got Dave with me today. We got a drone flying today. We got some POV today, but most importantly, we got Landon waiting inside. Now, I landed in Cincinnati Airport, and uh, oh, well, we're opening the door already. But I landed in Cincinnati, Cincinnati Airport, and I started driving for about 45 minutes and thought to myself, where are we going? But we're about to find out. Even some of the twang from going up in Virginia came back into my accent again. That's how excited I am to be here. But we have some precision, some reliability, and some incredible people from a company that started almost a century ago, but here in 1997. So let's step inside, talk with Landon, see if we can get all our cameras going. Dave, you are the man, by the way. Thank you so much. Meredith Machinery, give them a shout out, of course. And then we got my buddy Landon. How you doing, Tony? Living a dream, brother. How about Excellent. you? Thing. So we got so much going on today, not just on my cameras, but in your facility as well. Yes, sir. Let's we start do. taking a walk, my friend. Let's do it. All right. What I know about you guys, almost a century old, almost yes. a century, but here since 1997. That's so right. let's build a foundation for the audience about what you do as we walk around your beautiful, I would say Six Sigma 5S and super <laughs> clean facility. We do our best. So yeah, uh, at Stober, we uh, provide drive solutions for customers that need motion in their facility. So whether that be a conveyor at a food processing plant or a planetary box for a machine tool, pretty much if it can move, we can be there. I like that you say that because seeing some of your parts, and we're gonna get to see more of them in just a little bit, but seeing some of your parts, the intricacies that go into them, I know that precision is key and the first place we're gonna stop is right in your CMM room. So Absolutely. let's head on in and describe kind of your investments and what you've been doing here at Stuber. So we've invested in these three Zeiss CMMs. We feel Zeiss is, you know, best quality, top notch. So we're measuring uh, parts in here down to sub-micron levels. So each CMM is programmed for our uh, parts to be inspected on and all the operators get an inspection report so we can maintain that that high precision, high quality part as we're running our production. Have you ever, I know the precision you work in is sub-micron at some times, and I've even talked to the Meredith Machinery guys, and, and they were saying if we told the audience about all the reports that you've given, they wouldn't believe that it was real because some of the tolerances are so tight. Sometimes I don't believe it. <laughs> it's like, so, you know, we have a, a coupling bore that has a, a 11 micron tolerance, so plus 11 minus nothing. And we just recently did a, a capability study on one of our lathes out here. All day running production, one micron variance part to part on the coupling bore. It's fascinating. If you told me it came off of a bore grinder, I would have believed you, but a lathe, I'd say no way. Oh, so it's amazing. It's, well, let's go take a look at some of these machines. And as we do this, uh, I want to continue to talk about yourself and the growth of the company because okay. although I've mentioned almost a century at this point, you've been here since 1997. That's what right. has your personal company growth here in the U.S. been like as I see dozens of machines at this point? Well, as far as manufacturing goes, we really started making a push for American manufacturing of our parts here. Uh, I would say in 2008. Before that, we were more of a support machine shop, one-offs, breakdown specials uh, and around 2008 when we're like okay we need to be producing production parts here and it's been constant growth ever since then for us. High mix low volume is something you do here yes. and I see some of your more advanced machines I'm not seeing a single turret and a single spindle and you're getting really complicated. Do you have a way to make sure that people feel comfortable by the time they get on the shop floor? How are you supporting a location that feels like it's somewhat remote with high quality candidates to make sure that they walk on the floor and they're ready. Well, we just so happen to have an apprenticeship program. Do you? Yes, I did. And did you come from this program by I, chance? I did. I did. I was one of the first apprentices here at Stober. I started here in 2005 as an apprentice in manufacturing. No kidding. And what was that transition like into apprentice? Well, tell me about your apprenticeship first and what that was like with the transition from apprentice into the, let's just call it the real world, which is probably a bad way to describe it, but the machine, <laughs> the machine world. Oh, it was, it was an amazing program for me. Uh, so I 
came right out of high school. They, you know, uh, advertised about this apprenticeship program in the new newspaper back then. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that old. Come uh, on, nobody knew that. Said 2005. So yeah, I applied for it because I was already at a uh, vocational school taking machine shop classes. Fell in love with it. Saw that, and I'm like, oh, this is this would be a match made in heaven if I could get this position. And I was very fortunate and did. So like back then, just like now, we start uh, all the apprentices on manual machines. Get the feel, you know, understand the basics of, of cutting parts, cutting metal, making chips, all the good stuff. So after they graduate per se out of this area, we also have a, an area uh, towards the back of the shop that has CNC equipment just for apprenticeship training. So we've got a, a mill, a lay, uh, two lays actually, and then a smaller little machining center. So you can take steps towards your graduation from the apprenticeship program, if you will. I think that's important to understand. And as we continue on the tour, let's talk a little bit about the type of machines that you have there, if that's okay, because- Absolutely. To my knowledge, the machines that you have here, they're, I won't say complicated, but I'll say complex and reliable. And a fair amount of investment has gone into these machines as well, financially. Yes. So when your apprenticeship go from, what well, in that room, and you mentioned manual lays, which is how I learned as well. We feel the vibration and when we're doing it right or feel wrong. Feel the cut. Feel that cut. So important to understand for any machinist out there who wants to skip straight into the CNC world or wants to strip, skip straight into just the programming world without understanding how the material works. Take it from Landon. That feel is so important as you're looking at those parts right now. The apprenticeship program you have here, what type of machines are they jumping on before they get into actually running parts on, on the floor? So after they uh, move from the manual machines, we have a, uh, it's a closing, uh, it's kind of a hybrid machine. It, it could be run manually or CNC. It's got a fanic control on it. So it's very similar to our production machines. So they can get comfortable, you know, going from screen to screen, knowing where the offsets are, knowing how to program. Uh, we've got that, and then we also have a Makino PS105 vertical machining center, very similar control-wise to our production machine. So we try to we try to make it as easy as we can, going from the manual machines to CNC to production, as you should, and as we all should. So thank you for being a leader in that. As a German company, we need more apprenticeships in the U.S. Yes, so, I agree. Thank you for doing that. And, and hearing your story coming through it is, is nice to hear as well. To my right, I see, and to the audience's left, I see Nakamura Tome. I see yes. Heimbook representatives here. And on the left, I see Makinos. And as I walk through your shop, as a majority rule, that's what I'm seeing. Why are your investment in these amazing Japanese machines? And might I just say, Shogo, shout out to that guy. We all That's love right. him. Absolutely. So as a general rule, I'm seeing Makino and Nakamura. What are they bring to your company? Uh, precision, accuracy, quality. These machines, they just run. Very minimal issues. Very little downtime. And the part quality they produce is just, it's incredible. It's incredible. And we have to have that. Our customers demand that. We are known in the industry as the most precise, toughest gearbox on the market. Mm. So we have to be able to have good equipment to produce those kind of parts. Before coming in here, I actually knew you for that as well. So I know the name and so what a pleasure it is to come in and say hi. So thank you for opening your door. Absolutely. Let's talk about a few of these parts. But yeah, of also, course. Big ass fans, man. Why do I see those guys everywhere? Is that one of your partners also? Absolutely. Big ass fans has been an excellent part. They're one of our single largest customers that we serve. So the gearbox, uh, that's bolted to those fan blades. Yep, that's us. Same right here. So yeah, this is actually the uh, big ass fan output shaft. We make this on a Nakamura Tome uh, WT300. This is the input housing. So customer's motor, motor will bolt right to this, bolts to the gearbox. And then, so here's a little cutaway of kind of what we're doing there. Mm -hmm. You have a couple bore, snap ring, seal, gr uh, seal groove. And then these are uh, for our stainless steel uh, gearbox line. These are the uh, uh, pinion bearing carriers, if you will, input bearing carriers. And as this one's cut open, and we obviously see what we're familiar with in these five pieces, is this all one setup? Uh, multiple setups. Multiple setups? Yep. 
got multiple different setups, but where we have the Heimbuch system, you know, we can bar feed this guy. Oh, good point, yeah. And then we can switch out to a three jaw chuck, grab this casting, minutes. We're good to go. There's a separate video on that if you guys want to hear Landon discuss how grateful he is for a reliable product that allows him to switch out in just a few minutes without having to test all of the run out because he knows it's going to be within micron precision. Absolutely. Kind of a part of it, right? Oh, and check this out, Tony. We got more parts over yes, here? Yes, yes we do. Well, let's not run into our cool oh, little drawer sorry, guys. Here. Hey, little buddy. So yeah, not only are we making uh, some parts that go inside the gearbox, we're making the gearbox housing. This is our uh, KSS, all stainless steel uh, gearbox housing for the food and beverage market. Very successful product for us. Food and beverage is a big one for you guys, right? Major player in our game, yes. yes. I've heard that there can be quite a bit of stress in the food and beverage industry. How do you feel about it? Yes, it, <laughs> it has to be clean, you know. We've got uh, new rules and regulations coming out all the time for food safety and we have to meet those requirements. And this, this has been great for us, all stainless. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what the future holds for you guys here and why someone might want to work with you. We've talked about where you came from, legacy, longevity, your focus on precision, reliability to get parts out. The parts that nobody else wants to do, you want to bring them in house. Absolutely. We've talked about your apprenticeship program, so yes. we know you're going to be around for a long time. But let's talk a little bit about the future. And for anyone who's watching right now, who's looking for that reliable partner like yourselves, why they might want to come to you. Well, I also forgot to mention this earlier, delivery. We deliver faster than all of our competitors. Uh, standard build time is typically a day, so we can deliver in a day if needed to three days, and other people are weeks. So we can not only you know provide excellent quality, excellent service, but the fastest delivery. So it sounds like a win to me. It sounds it sounds like the question <laughs> I asked you was answered about something you wanted to mention previously, and was like perfect opportunity to that, talk about that's it. That's right. That's right. Although now we've talked about delivery as well, and you've given me every reason to want to work with you. You've invested in the machines, you have the history, you have the people, you have the apprenticeship, you have the quality. What does the future look like? Are you trying to expand into other areas? Are you looking to expand here in Kentucky? You have two giant buildings here already. We are, absolutely. Uh, there's already been talks of expanding uh, our facility across the street. That's where all the assembly, uh, shipping, paint, customer service, that's where it all is. There's the talks of that. And we're always looking for adding more uh, a product mix to what we're already making here. So uh, buying another machine, making more products over here to help improve delivery times, essentially. We're gonna close this out with your website so people can find you. Absolutely. But I think you've done a wonderful job of expressing what you're capable of what it all looks like and how we can work together. So let's drop a website and uh, thank you so much for allowing us to oh, come in and share some of your story. My pleasure, thank you very much. I really appreciate you all stopping oh, it's in. My, that's my pleasure as well. So where, what's your website? How can we find you? Uh, www.stober.com. It's that that's simple. I could have taken simple. a guess on that one. Man. You, I should have just taken a guess. I feel like every time I guess I'm wrong and every time I don't guess it's that obvious. Uh, you're right on the money today. Goodness gracious. Well, my friends, this is my buddy Landon. This is Stober here in the U.S. since 1997, making quality parts. As he's already said, if you're looking for that quality partner to make sure you're taking care of delivery time, so important to all of us. And it's a company that has grown and grown and grown over here from Germany to the U.S. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful today. I'm grateful for your time. I'm grateful for your time. And I'm grateful to see everything that's going on here in Kentucky. So keep up the good work. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you very much.